to This Week in Association. We connect great ideas and great people. Hello, I'm Amy Goodman. ASAE and the Center believe that associations have the power to transform society for the better. That's why we're always looking for ways to help members achieve the highest levels of performance. In our last video segment, we gave you the highlights of our study, Decision to Volunteer, the largest survey ever of the state of volunteerism and associations. This week, we zero in on a group that took part in the survey, the American Industrial Hygiene Association, which represents 12,000 occupational and environmental health and safety professionals. Peter O'Neill, the Deputy Executive Director, joins us in studio. Welcome, Peter. Thank you. Thank you for being here. So what did your association learn from the study, and how do you plan to implement it? The study results showed that we were really doing a lot of things well, but what I think that it taught us to do was kind of go back, kind of circle back and take a look at what we're doing and find ways to measure it to make sure that it actually is not is as impactful as we think it is. So how do you engage volunteers? At AIHA, we try to engage them in a wide variety of ways, be it in person, be it uh, virtual. We try to always make sure that it's an engaging opportunity for them to work with us and vice versa. You'd mentioned virtual volunteering. Mm -hmm. Can you define that for mm -hmm. us? Mm -hmm. And has it changed the volunteer landscape? Virtual volunteering for us is using the telephone and our web-based technology to help members engage across the miles, in fact, across the globe. And for us, it's had incredible cost-benefit analysis because we, as an organization, pay for our members to travel to our meetings. So the less we can, we can spend on that and the more we can put into the technology, the virtual technology, that enables us to help folks engage more and, frankly, we get to spend less. Now, your association, you recently changed the governance structure to incorporate more volunteers. Mm -hmm. Has this worked for you? What have been the benefits? The governance structure is the probably the biggest overlooked opportunity for most trade and professional societies. We did shift our volunteer structure, governance structure, about four or five years ago, and what we did was move our technical committees, which for us is the the backbone of what our volunteers do for us through that structure, we shifted them to work groups. And off of these work groups, there were various project teams. And the project teams enabled individuals to come in and do some very discrete pieces of work. Say, for example, write a chapter of a large textbook and then leave. For us, I think for AIHA as an organization, shifting our governance structure really opened up the floodgate for what we could do with volunteers in a way that without those changes, we could never have moved forward. And you have this fun theory, Peter. Can you share it with us? Fun theory, yes. A lot of times when the younger generation's coming up, in this case the millennials, people talk about how, oh, that generation just wants to have fun. The same was said of the Gen Xers, that they just want to have fun. And I think the fact of the matter is that everybody wants to have fun, however that's defined. So I think when you can engage your volunteers in a way that they're having fun, they're being creative, and they're still giving back to the organization with what you need, uh, you simply can't go wrong. Well, Peter O'Neill, thank you so much for your recruitment and retention tips and your fun tips. And thank you for watching. In a few weeks, we'll talk with an association of educators faced with the daunting task of building its volunteer base from the ground up. Until then, I'm Amy Goodman for This Week in Associations. Visit our website for more ways to connect great ideas and great people.